France Diaries. We visited Carnac, a town in Brittany, northwest France. It's famous as the site of more than 10,000 Neolithic standing stones also known as Menhirs. Thousands of prehistoric standing stones spread across three alignments Manek, Karmario and Kerlescan. Karnak the stones were hewn from local rock and erected during the Neolithic period which lasted from around 4500 BC until 2000 BC. The pre-Celtic people of Brittany local tradition claims that the reason they stand in such perfectly straight lines is that they are a Roman legion turned to stone by Pope Cornelius. For those who don't know what the Roman legion is, it's the largest military unit of the Roman army. Composed of 4,200 infantry and 300 equites cavalry. The precise date of the stones is difficult to ascertain as little datable material has been found beneath them. But the site's main phase of activity is commonly attributed to 3300 BC. One interpretation of the site is that successive generations visited the site to erect a stone in honor of their ancestors. During the Middle Ages, standing stones were believed to have been built by the giants who lived before the biblical flood. Many of the megaliths were destroyed or defaced by early Christians. It is estimated that some 50,000 megaliths once stood in Northern Europe where almost 10,000 now remain. They are widely distributed across Europe, Africa and Asia, but are most numerous in Western Europe, particularly in Ireland, Great Britain and Brittany, where there are about 50,000 examples, and there are 1,200 menhirs in Northwest France alone. Some menhirs, from Britonic languages, mine or men, stone, and hir or hir, long, standing stone, or thestat. Or Lath is a large man-made upright stone, typically dating from the European Middle Bronze Age. They can be found individually as monoliths, or as part of a group of similar stones. Menhirs size can vary considerably, but often taper toward the top, where menhirs appear in groups, often in a circular, oval, henge or horseshoe formation. They are sometimes called megalithic monuments. These are sites of ancient religious ceremonies, sometimes containing burial chambers. The exact function of menhirs has provoked more debate than practically any other issue in European prehistory. Over the centuries, they have variously been thought to have been used by druids for human sacrifice, used as territorial markers, or elements of a complex ideological system, used as mnemonic systems for oral cultures, or functioned as early calendars. The word menhir was adopted from French by 19th century archaeologists. The introduction of the word into general archaeological usage has been attributed to the 18th century French military officer Theophile Corret de la Tour de Owen. It is a combination of two words of the Breton language, mine and hir. In modern Welsh, they are described as mine hir, or long stone. In modern Breton, the word peulwam is used, with pool meaning stake or post and wan which is a soft mutation of the word mine which means stone. In Germany and Scandinavia the word bauta is used as bautestein and this occasionally makes its way into English with the term bauta stone. Almost nothing is known of the social organization or religious beliefs of the people who erected the menhirs. There is not even any trace of these people's language. However we do know that they buried their dead and had the skills to grow cereal, farm and make pottery, stone tools and jewelry. Identifying their uses remains speculative. Until recently. Menhirs were associated with the Bika people, who inhabited Europe during the European Late Neolithic and Early Bronze Age, later third millennium between BC 2800 and 1800 BC. However, recent research into the age of megaliths in Brittany strongly suggests a far older origin. Perhaps back to six to seven thousand years ago, many menhirs are engraved with megalithic art. This often turned them into anthropomorphic stelae. Although images of objects such as stone axes, plows, shepherds' crooks, and yokes were common, with the exception of the stone axe, none of these motifs are definitely portraying what they are named after. And the name used to describe them is largely for convenience. Some menhirs were broken up and incorporated into later passage graves, where they had new megalithic art carved with little regard for the previous pictures. Surprisingly four menhirs and nearly 1,000 small and big dolmens were found in India at the Pothamala Hills at the Kerala-Tamil Nadu border by a group of researchers in Kerala too.